Hello everyone, welcome to Let's DevOps. I am Sumit and today we will discuss about how to share variables across multiple stages, jobs and steps in Azure DevOps pipeline. So in this tutorial, first we'll understand the use case of sharing variables. Second, we'll see what are the different scope we have for sharing variables. Third, we'll see the dependency and syntax and then we'll start with the demo. So let's start. Before we start, as a prerequisite, you should have a basic understanding of Azure DevOps YAML pipeline. So if you are new to Azure DevOps YAML, I have just attached the link, you can follow that. But at least you should know the basic, like what is the stage, what is the jobs and what is the steps in YAML pipeline. Let's talk about the use case. So assume that you want to set some variable and that variable that needs to be passed in the next stage or a step. In this case, we need to use this technique. In my case, there was a requirement that before deploying or installing or upgrading the cluster, I need to first check whether that deployment exists or not. So as part of the one stage, I had to check whether the deployment is, exists or not. And based on that information, I had to either go with the installation or upgrade. So assume that if it's already exists, then I need to trigger that upgrade. If it does not exist, then I need to trigger the installation part. Now let's discuss about the different scenario where we need to set the variable and use the variable. So in this scenario, if you notice, we have a single job and under the single job, we have a two different steps. And in the one step, I'm setting the variable and in the second step, I want to use the variable. So this is one of the scenario where we need to pass the variable across the different steps. Now coming to the second, second scenario, we have a same stage, but we have a different job. And in one job, we are setting the variable and in the second job, we are using the variable. So this is one of the scenario also where maybe in your case, it can be the same. Uh, in the third scenario, we have two different stages. In one stage, we are setting the variable and in the second stage, we want to use the variable. So these are the three uh, different scenario we have. Maybe in your case, whatever best fits, you can just use that but I'm going, just going to explain the each scenario and while giving the demo also, I will just show how it works, okay? Now coming to the dependency. So dependency is a keyword which helps to refer the previous stage or jobs because when you set a variable, it definitely it has to define at the previous step and then when you want to use that, then only you need to use the dependency. So there are two category we have, two types. One is the dependency and another is the stage dependency. So what is the difference between this? So if you want to use within the same stage, then you use dependency. But if you want to use the variable, which is across multiple stages, then we need to define as the stage de dependency. And then that also also in our demo. So for the same stage, assume that if you want to pass your variable within the same stage, then we need to use the dependency keyword and when we want to use on a different stages, then in that case, we have to use the stage dependency keyword. Now let's understand the syntax. So if we are going to use the variable under the same stage, then in that case, what we need to use, we need to use the dependency keyword. Just we, we understood here, right? So first is the dependency keyword. Then we need to provide the job name because we are under the same stage. And then we have to have use this output keyword. After that, we need to define the step where our variable is getting set. And then we need to provide the variable name. So this is the syntax where you need, when you want to retrieve the variable, in that case you need to use this. So assume that if you are in a different stage, like assume that you want to use the variable uh, which defined in the different stage, in that case, what we need to do we need to use the stage dependency keyword followed by the stage name, job name, and then outputs. And after that, we have to provide the step name and then the variable name. So this is the syntax. And ag again, if you are under the same job, same job, sorry, then you don't need to do anything else. It's just you need to provide the step name dot variable name. And with that, you can set the or use the variable. Now coming to this uh, example, if you notice, which I'll be also kind of uh, showing in our demo. Here we have two stage, right? One is build, another is a deploy. And 
under the build stage we have a two different job right so here if you notice i am setting one variable in the step or oh sorry in the job a under the step deployment message here i am setting this variable the variable name is deployment check and then its value is, is deployed which is i am basically i am setting this variable here now this is how i need to set so assume that if i want to use this th that variable under the same job and different stages then i need to pass with the step name dot variable name so this is the step name if you see here and then dot deployment check is the variable name now let's assume that you want to use in a different job in this case what we need to do we need to use the dependency keyword here right so we have to use dependency dot is job name that is a job a and then this is the output and this is the step name and this is the variable name and this is how we define the variable so that you can use it so we basically you have to put that in a dollar uh, the square bracket and this is how you have to use and assume that if you want to display that or use that you can just need to use the dollar and then you need to use the parenthesis the third scenario what we have that i need to use that variable in a different stage so in this case what i am doing i am using a stage dependency keyword then the stage name build is a stage name and this is a job name this is the output and then this is the step name and this is the variable name and this is how i have to use that okay so that's all for the all three different uh, scenario let's see uh, in a demo now let's start with the demo so this is the repo which i am using currently uh, for setting the demo and this pipeline yaml which i have created i'll also share that in a github so that you can have a look to it so if you notice here uh, let me expand that in this pipeline which i mentioned we just explained the same pipeline which i have a uh, two different stages and i have also two different jobs and i am setting the variable in the stage build under that uh, job a and i'm trying to use in a second steps in a different job and also in a different stage so these are the three different scenario which we discussed and then when i'll run it will just show so as of now what i'm setting some variable if you see this is the variable which we are setting up i'm ready to upgrade and maybe yeah i'm ready to upgrade and then here i am uh, setting this variable deployment check and again i am just echoing just for demo purpose i did that way uh, so if it is under the same same steps then again we need to use the step name and then the variable name similarly for the job and for each one it should display as i am ready to upgrade so let me go ahead and run the pipeline okay settle on the pipeline and here if you notice we have a two different stage the build and the deploy and currently it is running so here if we go to the bash um, okay deployed value is i am ready to upgrade and then again it is using in a different job so this is the best and here see different echo the output variable is i am ready to upgrade so this is the same value which is getting displayed in a different job and also in a different stage i am ready to upgrade so if you see here so that's all for the demo uh, you can just have a look to that uh, uh, repo which i'll share again in the github and that will be helpful i guess so that's all for the demo let's recap what we learned today so first we discuss what is the use case of sharing the variables across multiple stages jobs and steps 
then we'll saw we saw different stage scenario sorry uh, using the variable in different steps using the variable in a different jobs and also using the variable in a different stages and then we saw the keyword to use like dependency keyword and stage dependency keyword and then in our demo we saw how we basically set the variable in one stage and that can be used in a multiple jobs or a multiple stages okay that's all for the today's tutorial i hope this will be useful if you have any query or concern you can write in the comment box i'll be happy to help thank you and have a good day bye bye